of uh, Roger Mann's uh, little airplanes. Yes, it is. It's an RW6. Now, is this an airplane that uh, you uh, got as a kit from him, or did you build it from plans? This is plans. I bought uh, bought the wood, most of the wood from the lumber yard, and uh, the fittings are all aircraft. Now, how, uh, when Roger ships the plans out, what do the plans come to you? How do they look? Uh, well, I, they could be a little better, I think. It would certainly help if you had some experience building before. Okay. The, the, the plans, though, are like is it in a booklet of 32 pages or 40 pages? Are they full size? Yeah, it's templates? probably about um, 9 by 11 or 10 by 12 inches. There's And the, uh, the metal parts are all full size uh, plans. Um, what about the templates and stuff for the ribs and, uh, and that type of thing? The that's full size. The ribs and the uh, D cell templates or, or D cell part of the rib is full sized. So, what gave you the idea to build this particular airplane? Well, I'd been looking for about three years and couldn't make up my mind, so I said, I think I'll just take the simplest plane I can find out there and see if I can make that into a good looking little airplane that you know that I could build and and would finish now you started to build it then what a single car garage a living room a basement uh, where did you put it all together I started I built the ribs in the basement most of it I built in a uh, 16 by 18 foot uh, wood shop that I have so you've been uh, familiar with wood then for a while oh yes uh, was there any special tooling or that you required in order to build it uh, not really, but it's awfully nice to have a real good table saw and a band saw and uh, drill press. That probably uh, those would be the main three main things. How long would it take you from uh, basically starting to finishing the airplane? From I started my first rib on October the 18th, I believe, '98, and was flying. Two years and two days later. How many hours would that involve, do you think, if you were just taking a rough guess at it? Well, I was counting hours. When I got to about 350 or more, I began to get embarrassed, so I kept I quit uh, keeping track of them. <laughs> One of those situations where you're 80% done and yeah, still, still 90% That's to right, do. yeah. Now, uh, this airplane here, uh, then, um, as far as the finished coats and the type of materials used on it, what are you covering it with? Because it's got a real nice finish. This is a, a stitch covering, and it's covered with uh, Sherwin-Williams Marine latex. It's very flexible. My sample piece has been scrubbed between many people's hands uh, in, the, in the past two years. Whenever we go out by it, we pick it up and rub it between our hands like as if we were scrubbing clothes, and, and it still doesn't uh, crack or anything like that. So it's super flexible. So it's just a, a standard marine type product that yeah. you didn't use the aviation? No. Uh, was there any uh, type of finish that you had to put on to the fabric before you could use it? Uh, no. I cleaned the, I just cleaned the fabric. I cleaned it with soap and water. After I had the uh, fabric on the uh, fuselage and wings and everything, I cleaned it all with soap and water, rinsed it good with a garden hose, and then uh, pretty much painted it from that point. Was there a, a special primer that you used? Or was just a basic no, primer? it's just the paint. Standard latex primer? Yes. What gives it the shine then? Is that the, the paint that's shining? Uh, pretty much, although it has a coat of, uh, of uh, UV uh, protectant on it. Okay, so you've got this airplane powered by what now? 440 Kawasaki. Uh, it was originally a fan pool. It's been converted to free air. Uh, it runs just a little warmer than I would like. It runs at about 400 degrees in the summertime. Perfectly 350 in the wintertime, which I consider perfect in southwest Missouri. Uh, in other words, on a 50, 55 degree day, it's, uh, it runs at 350 at uh, 1100 degrees exhaust gas temperature. Summertime, it runs just a little warmer than I like. What uh, type of performance are you getting out of an airplane? Uh, I have a thousand foot runway and, and uh, trees and high lines at one end. I'm probably, oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't climb out at max. I suppose it, I, I'm off the ground in 200 feet or less. And uh, I really don't know what the climb is. It seems to be, it's, it's good, and it cruises at about 55 or 
maybe just over that. What kind of RPM would you be using to, to set up for cruise on, on the Cali? I like, uh, I like it tuned at 6200 for max uh, static, and uh, I cruise at about 5500. Yes, I'm using a 2 9 to 1 with a 72 inch prop. That's what was recommended by Roger Mann. I might consider, I would consider going with a little less reduction and maybe a 66 inch prop or something like that. Uh, that would give me a little less lift though, just a little more speed, which I don't really feel that I need, but yet I would like to try it. Now, what about the, uh, the, the dollars and cents that you'd have invested in? Like you, the set of plans were what, $35, $40? No, the set of plans was $74. They might be cheaper now. At one time, they were $54. I'm, I don't know what they are now. I paid $74. And those plans in, actually included three different uh, variations of this same plan. Uh, it was a Heath Parasol, the Church Rag Wing, which is a variation of the Heath Parasol, and, uh, and the... Uh, what was the other one? What was it? Oh, we called it Ragamuffin, which is somewhere in between the two. And then mine is slightly different than those again. So, so uh, what's, uh, the, what kind of dollars then do you feel like you can wrap up by the time you had it ready? Oh, oh, oh folks, excuse me. <laughs> the wind's coming up here. Thanks, thanks, Al. Uh, I probably have, uh, I'm guessing, $4,500. Partly because uh, I didn't do it all in one shipment. It was about 10 different shipments, and I had no aircraft materials at all on hand. Uh, you know, if I could have gone to the cabinet and picked up a couple of bolts or something like that, I could have saved, saved some shipments. What about the engine? And, uh, was uh, this something you picked up second-hand? Uh, it's a rebuilt engine. Uh, I'd rather not say <laughs> out there and building one of these airplanes are you ever to give them a name and address telephone number they can get a hold of you they could reach me if they'd like uh email uh easy living at juno.com i'm cliff larson it's e-e-z-e-l-i-v-i-n at j-u-n-o.com thank you very much for your time you're welcome